Crosby, wait, what, so. Wait, what was I saying? Um, uh, you were talking about how you saw the, the, the little gator. Yeah, and I was so oh, boy, pretty excited tricky. about it. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, this part's hard. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, whew, there. This is you over. have to... Yeah. What? That part is hard. Is hard uh, in this game. Oh, careful. That. Oh, come on. Yeah, I apologize that I'm not the one playing the game right now, you guys. I know it's kind of lame. Um, so, w with with me, um, I grew up more as someone who liked to watch other people play video games. And, and only losers do that, am I right, people? Um, okay, well, uh, rude. You're missing the point. <laughs> Get with the program. <laughs> like like seriously though um i i'm the youngest of my siblings and um i would watch them play um some video games on the tv oh, and stuff it. oh careful and i just had a lot of fun watching them try to voice out everything to me it felt like um an interactive story with with my family oh, uh -oh. like an oh. animated storybook that they could sort of control in a sense. And I was just a, f a fun viewer. I didn't have to participate or embarrass myself or anything. <laughs> well, that just happened around me. I didn't even take part in it. <laughs> uh, I, I remember... Um, I didn't want to grab that yet. I oh, saved it for later, but it's okay. Let's see. Uh, I remember there was this game called... I know I'm pronouncing this wrong because when I told you the name, you corrected me. Uh, was it Sukoden? Yeah, the the way my family and I always pronounced it was Sukoden. Yeah, well, it's it's not a, a name that like an English speaking someone in English speaking country is gonna automatically know how to pronounce. I don't even remember how I found out how to pronounce it because I thought it was like Sui Coden or something. I don't. I have no idea. I I don't remember. Oh. Well, for, for Sakodin 2, um, uh, spoilers for anyone one. who hasn't played it, yeah. um, uh, there's a... Here we go. <laughs> a, a, darn! A, as, as the main Maybe character the of better. the game, whatever your name is, um, and no. you have a best friend named Jowie, Jump I think is how you say his name. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a weird name to say, Jowie! One of them crazy Japanese names! <laughs> Why don't they learn to speak a real language? <laughs> he, he's he's a real pretty boy though, mm -hmm. and he's and he's so it's like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Limit head everything. <laughs> and and so the thing about Jowie, I I vividly remember this um, from my childhood. Mm -hmm. um, my sisters and I were in love with Jowie because he was the pretty boy, and we we're like, oh. he's so handsome and he was oh, also he, he was also like That's um he was also like the bad boy yeah. and stuff because mm -hmm. he like eventually turned into a villain mm -hmm. well of course that's what i mean that's uh, the girl's always like the bad boy yeah, yeah. That's, how it goes, you know. yeah that's, just, that's just how we were and um i remember um uh oh he, uh oh he, Ooh, oh, Shoo, oh goodness so jowie dies at the very end uh -huh. of the of Sakodin 2 or sweet uh -huh. uh, sweet Sukodin. Sukadin. What, what, what does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I know how to pronounce it. I don't know what it means. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> do, I, do I look like a <laughs> linguistics expert? Yes. Because they have a certain appearance, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> you, you, Of course you're a linguist expert. You're, I... you're part Jewish. You're part black. You're part everything, Matthew. <laughs> you're, you're one of those rare people that I've met who has a little bit of everything inside of you. I do. Except maybe the black? Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What's up? What's up? <laughs> okay. Uh, Ralph was about to come. Down. I had to switch back to Yakko. Oh, Pinky and the brain like run out, and uh, like that's like, kind of like your warning that like Ralph's Since about to come down. When does Ralph throw bombs at the children? <laughs> Look, Ralph's had enough of their of their shenanigans. He didn't get his donuts that day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, look, if the Warner Brothers kept me from getting my donuts, I'd be pretty furious. Wait a minute, I got off, I got off track. Oh, oh. I got off track. Uh, um, yeah, you were saying something yeah, about yeah, so, so, so he Jowie, gets himself killed in the game Yeah, or so something. Jowie dies at uh -oh. the end of uh, uh -oh. Sukadin, and um, 
and you have like the option like when you're when you're holding him in your arms as he's breathing his last like <laughs> to spit in his eye <laughs> <laughs> no although that would have been funny <laughs> no it's like he's like please let me go I need to I need to leave this world or, or something like that. And you're I always thought Yak would look like Binky the Clown when he did that dance. Yeah. He's kind of got the Binky mouth there. Anyway, go on, go on. Um, your main character can be like, no, no, hang on, still, you can't leave. You're my best friend. We're like brothers. And and. <laughs> or the choice can just be okay, just drop him on his head. No, <laughs> no, stop me ruining it. Yeah. No, it's just like, I'm fixing it. Uh, I'm not ruining no, it. No, come on. I'm trying to I'm trying to tell the story. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but. But it's like you can prevent him from dying as mm. long as you keep saying no, don't leave. He's like, oh, you told me about this. Yeah, and it, it's like just please let me go. <laughs> like no, no, you're my brother. Please let me go. No, you're my brother. Please let me go. No, you're my brother. And didn't you say that, like you guys like prolonged that? That my siblings, my siblings <laughs> did. My my sisters specifically because they loved him so much and they got <laughs> so emotional and were crying like no, we don't want him to die. We want to save him meanwhile like every fanboy out there who's ever played final fantasy 7 is like if only i could have had that option <laughs> eris would have lived forever i thought it was eris 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 depends on if you have a lisp i guess <laughs> i've seen it spelled both ways i don't know which way is the correct <laughs> one they both seem to be canon i've always seen it as eris yeah in uh, in the original one it's eris i know like like i said in some of like the in, like, the awful movie, it's mm-hmm. Aerith or whatever. I don't know. Aerith, again, Aerith, it sounds like, <laughs> sounds like you got a list. It's like Daffy, Daffy Duck plays Fi- Final Fantasy VII. Who's this Aerith person? I have a question about this game. Yeah. Do the do the hip hippos show up? Uh, I, I think they do somewhere. I think just about all of, like, the, the big name characters pop up somewhere. Space, space Wars! Space trucking, Space Wars. Space Wars is one of my all-time favorite movies. Yeah, when Tomb Raider told Ike Skyrider that he was his second cousin, I almost fainted. Wouldn't it be great if we could get Tomb Raider's helmet for a hip-hop culture shop? Or, no question mark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and may the Farce be with us. Which it pretty much, I mean, you guys are Farce, so, you know, you're fine <laughs> May the thoughts be with us. <laughs> <laughs> you know Yakko would have done that joke if he could have. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'll, I, I will be the first to admit that, like, some of the jokes in this game fall flat. Uh, that That's yeah. kind of a, eh. But, I mean, let's face it, Animaniacs was a funny cartoon, but, I mean, it, not every single one of their jokes was perfect either. I'm mm-hmm. fine with that. Overall, uh, t- overall, I'm cool each, with it. Each, each and every single masterpiece has its own flaws. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still, it, it does bother me that, like, the actor names, at least, like, they had to change. I understand the reasoning for it, but again, like, yeah. some of those jokes don't quite land because you're not quite sure who they're talking about in some cases. Yeah. Uh, like, Kirk, I got the Kirk Cameron one. Uh, or thought Kurt Cameroon, that wasn't so hard. But John Snotts was a bit like eh, Don Knotts, I guess. I think, I guess that's it. I I'm less familiar with Although, actors to be fair, and stuff like that. So to be fair, I, that when, that line always bothered me anyway. Because like as a kid, I picked up. Okay, they're probably talking about Don Knotts. Can you push that off the the? Ledge? Uh, you can, but you don't want to. Oh. But I picked up they were probably referencing Don Knotts, but it upset me because uh, I was like, no, Wacko's the one whose favorite actor is Don Knotts, not not Dodds. It's, it's buttons. It's buttons. Aww. And, uh, Sweet little buttons. And, and forgive us, ladies and gentlemen, whoever out there is watching this, but we actually like the Buttons and Mindy cartoons. Yeah. I know, like, everyone else hates them, but I'm like, no, Buttons and Mindy are hilarious. I do remember when I was uh, younger, no, I didn't, I didn't like how... There's like, a, there's, like, a treasure if you choose the right one there, but you can never tell which one it is. I see. I Although, I do remember when I was younger, I did not like Buttons and Mindy, specifically because I didn't like how Mindy looked. I you didn't, didn't like her design? I didn't like her design. I didn't like the way her head was and stuff. It reminded me too much of, um, like... A version of Elmer Fudd trying to be way too girly, and it, it did not make me think of Elmira Fudd. It just made me think Elmer. Or Elmira. It was Elmira Duff. Elmira Duff. That's yeah. what it was. From, Which was from, still like a play on Elmer yeah, Fudd. But. Yes, exactly. That one was obviously more of a play yeah. on, on Elmer, Elmer yeah. Fudd. And um, 
Yeah, Mindy just had like the typical like just Warner Brothers look. Like uh, just a lot of characters like Warner Brothers cartoons kind of had that face shape. At least like older Looney Tunes ones mm-hmm. and stuff. But but I grew I grew to love it, and it's it partially has to do with me having become an aunt and working with kids more and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, not to say that I hated oh, kids it. before that. Oh. I was I was just a mean old spirited lady for all this. <laughs> I, I hated everyone. I um no I always thought Buttons and uh, Mindy. It's the, it's the boss. I oh yeah it's the, it's the the God Pigeon. The God Pigeon. I always liked the God Pigeon. Like of course, <laughs> yeah. As a, as a kid, <laughs> as a kid, like a lot of the jokes in, in Animaniacs went over like the the wow, younger. Wow, this elevator's great. Yeah. A lot of the jokes went over like the younger audience members' heads in Animaniacs. Yeah. Um, and of course, as a kid, I had never seen The Godfather because it's you know, an R-rated horrible gangster ah! movie. Oh darn it! No, um, you killed them. I did. But it's uh, you know, of course, it's an R-rated gangster movie. Not really something a kid should have seen. But I knew about the character. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, The Godfather is like one of those things like most kids even back then knew. Like they knew, okay, there's a gangster movie called The Godfather. You know, mm-hmm. they they got the gags. But I knew at least about um, oh, about uh, um, uh, the act. What's the actor's name? Like, I'm saying I know about him, but I can't remember his name. Uh, Marlon Brando. Uh, I knew about Marlon Brando and like how he did tend to mumble when he talked. Mm-hmm. So uh, the very first time I saw The God Pigeon. In the cartoon, and they were like, "Oh, it's the God Pigeon." Like, I already laughed because I picked up. Okay, like, you know, the God, the God, uh, the Good Feathers were obviously like gangster spoofs, you know, like gangster yeah. pigeons. And when they said the God Pigeon, I was like, "Oh, that's really funny." There's like a Godfather pigeon, and then he appeared, and I died. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, again, because I knew, I knew what he looked like. I knew like how he talked, even though I'd never seen it. Like, I, I'd, I'd seen <laughs> references to it, and my my parents were like, you know big movie buffs and everything. So, like, they, you know, referenced the movie at times and, like, mm-hmm. told me about, like, he kind of mumbled, you know, when he talked like that. So, like, here comes this, like, old, sickly, fat <laughs> pigeon who comes out. <laughs> I die laughing. And then he opens his mouth and all you get is... <laughs> and I thought it was the... Fu- to this day, I think it's the funniest thing. Honey, we need to watch Miranda Mania. We, we do need to. Yeah. We've been watching Looney Tunes, first of all, because it's like... And I, Popeye. Yeah, I was like, because I've been watching Looney Tunes, because like, well, technically, Animaniacs is just Looney Tunes. Like, that was the whole idea. It was just meant to be, like, a spiritual successor at, to Looney at least, Tunes. At least so I've been, like, watching version. those starting. At least the old version Yeah, is. I'm not big on the revival. It's kind of, yeah. eh. No, no offense to anyone who does like the I'm, revival. I'm being offense, dude. <laughs> well, all right, then. All right, all right. All right, anyone who is offended, you take it up with my husband. He <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want any part in it. I can't stand the new Animaniacs. I mean... I can't either, but I'm not going to say anything else otherwise. <laughs> I, just, I just think they totally missed the ball on what made Animaniacs funny. Okay, well, it, it's, okay, okay, it's I'll, too much. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give a few um. I feel like they, they turned, they turned the few... Warners into Slappy Squirrel. I guess that's like my biggest complaint. A little bit. And oh, I, I feel so mean saying this because I love the actors. I love the voice actors. Mm-hmm. It, but I've it, met the voice actors. They're great people. Yeah, They're you, really fun. You did meet them. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun to hang out with. I didn't meet them, but um, but that was like that was years ago, way before uh, we even met and yeah. stuff. But I um, kick it over there. Okay. Oh no, are you trapped? No, I can go back here. I just I oh, goofed okay. up on that little elevator thing or escalator, I guess, mm-hmm. in the back of your turn. Yeah, like the the new Animaniacs. I do remember getting kind of excited for it, but I also was like, oh no. Because I, I was I was cautious. Be, I was like, because, mm, yeah, be, <laughs> oh no. Because I'm ah darn it. Because like obviously not everyone um, shares this opinion and stuff like that. But oh no. Yeah. They, they accept their please. Don't hurt they us. know what's coming. <laughs> please don't hurt us, Ralph. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Yay! Just kidding. I meant it. <laughs> I meant all of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I, I'm, I'm like breaking up your story there, but like having met um, Jess Harnell, Rob Paulson, Tress McNeil, like all at comic conventions mm-hmm. and stuff, uh, I will say that the three of them will at any given time break into character. I remember you telling me um, about that, and I remember Rob reading about it before. Rob does it a lot. 
but uh, there are so many times, like, when the three of them were together, like, they almost stayed in character as the Warner Brothers the whole time. It was really mm-hmm. funny. You could tell, like, That's they just... so endearing. They spent so long doing these characters... And, you know, they're, they're all friends. They've worked together for you know decades now and everything. Mm-hmm. That they just kind of slip into character, and it's very funny. Um, yeah. There were so many times when... Um, that just like again, like Rob usually would start it because like he he's the one who does it the most. Oh, and, absolutely. Like, Tress and Jess would just go right in with it. It would be super funny. Um, I remember like one of the funniest moments, though. We do... Um, a, lot of, a lot of conventions, they do this thing called... Um, I, but it was... Yeah, I think they call it Twisted Tunes. They had a different name before, but mm-hmm. now they call it Twisted Tunes. And they'll bring in the voice actors that they've got as, um, you know, guest stars at the convention. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if I can get it right this time. Um, well, yay, I got an extra I, life. I do want to be able to share the rest of my story, too, honey. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll finish this up real quick. So just, okay. they, they do this thing called Twisted Tunes, and um, they'll have the different voice actors, and even sometimes, you know, even like the, the live actors or whatever you call um, mm-hmm. And they'll they'll have them they'll bring in a well known script like uh, Ghostbusters or Back to the Future, a movie, one of those movies that everyone knows. Mm-hmm. And they'll have them all read through parts of the script as their characters. So it's like okay, so in this part, you know, Yakko Warner plays Doc Brown from Back to the Future, or whatever. It'd be mm-hmm. really funny. And I remember in one <laughs> in one particular one, uh, I think it was Back to the Future we were doing, and uh, or they were doing, I should say, and. Um, the, there's a part where like uh, oh, you missed them. Again. Someone someone is saying something about uh, <laughs> it's a part where, where Marty Marty's trying to uh, get um, you know his his dad to date his mom so they can get together and get married so he can be born and everything. Uh, uh-huh. And uh, at the time, uh, oh, excuse me, they had it where it's like okay, so Dot is gonna play. Uh, Dot Warner plays, you know, the mother character, and Wacko Warner's gonna play, like, the dad character or whatever. And so whoever was Marty, I don't remember now at the moment, but Marty's like, you know, don't you wanna, don't you wanna date her? Wouldn't you like to kiss her or something like that? And then, <laughs> just as Wacko just goes, that's my sister you're talking about. That's disgusting. <laughs> and it just, it cracked everyone up. Yay! <laughs> it was so funny. That's disgusting. <laughs> Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad he has morals in that. Thank goodness. It was. It was very funny. Uh, oh. Anyway, go on now. You were. You were talking about uh, your own story. Mm-hmm. Yes, like I love the voice actors. Mm-hmm. I love them very, very dearly. They they've been great role models and things like that. They've mm-hmm. been great inspirations. I feel. I, I personally that. feel for the reboot of Animaniacs. However, they, I. I don't think they seemed as happy doing their roles. The the age and their voices, like, I feel mean saying this because, again, they're wonderful actors, but I feel that the age and their voices for the characters... It's, it gives it away, yeah. Yeah. The UK, they don't sound like kids anymore. I mean, mm-hmm. like... Admit, like, they, I mean, they always said, like, adults doing the voices, but there was a youthfulness in it. But at this point, it's like, ooh, mm-hmm. they, the Warners sound like they're about 90 years old now. Yeah. I mean, I know they're supposed to be, but they're not supposed to sound mm-hmm. like it. Yeah, Dot, Dot definitely doesn't sound yeah. as, as young as she did before. Mm-hmm. Um, Wacko Wacko sounds mostly the same in my jump. opinion. Wacko, yeah, Jess Harnell's voice hasn't aged No, much. you oh, killed them it. again! I did. How could you? Now you have uh, to here start. I go again. Oh, I've got to oh start my, again. Oh my gosh. This game is not always very forgiving. Matthew, how could you do this to us? That's just how to I roll. To the viewers. That's how I roll. If anyone is actually watching this. <laughs> do people actually watch these videos? Are we actually getting any attention whatsoever? Little do you know, we're not even filming this. I'm not even here. You're just talking to a figment of your imagination. What? Yeah. It's been that way all along. Don't say that, Matthew. Mm-hmm. I've I've had awful feelings Look, about about reality being nothing but a figment of my Look, imagination you know how, in the past. You know how everything has its own like gritty fan theory that's just a load of uh, you know a load of dingoes. Oh, kidneys. like the Rugrats and stuff. Yeah, everything's got its own like dark uh, theory that's just a load. So I just decided I would get everyone uh, I get the ball rolling on it. Before we even have a proper, you know, fan base, uh, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna just don't worry, guys. We've we've got the we've got the the fan theory already set up for you. Yes, please write a terrible fan fiction mm-hmm. about my husband and I, mm-hmm. and how I have this 
this this terrible complex. Make sure you write about the uh, the lost episode where we're hyper realistic and our eyes are bleeding. That that gets the kids all excited mm-hmm. these days. Oh you got to got to get some of your fractious lemon.exe in there. <laughs> Or your animatronic <laughs> fire mermaids or whatever you kids are into these days with your <laughs> Pong and your Volkswagens and your paddle balls and your listening to the Becks <laughs> and whatever else. <laughs> ah, disgusting. <laughs> you make me sick. 